there, it's Rory from Northland Dodge and Prince George. Hey, have a look at this uh, 2012 Ram 3500. Uh, this is an SLT model, uh, crew cab, long box. This is the one that we were talking about on the phone. This truck has the uh, 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel. Makes 350 horsepower and 800 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, behind that it has the uh, G56 uh, six-speed manual transmission. Uh, the highlight of that uh, is it has the big uh, 629 first gear ratio in it. Um, six gear is an overdrive. Uh, I'd have to look it up, but I think it's 0.78 is uh, six gear on this. So you know it loafs along the highway um, with not a lot of engine RPM. Uh, behind that, this one has a manually shifted transfer case. Uh, it has 2.72 to 1 reduction in low range. Uh, the rear end ratios in this truck are uh, 3.73 to 1. Uh, the rear differential is an anti-spin and the front differential is open. The truck has the forged aluminum wheels. Out back it has the, uh, uh, the class 4 receiver hitch, uh, two trailer plugs, the uh, flat 4 pin and the uh, 6 pin style, uh, locking tailgate. Uh, new Dodge they all have a full uh, inner fender in the rear which is real nice, helps keep the truck clean in the winter. Uh, new generation trucks also have the uh, triple door seal, uh, weather strip on the door one on the cab and then there's also a, a rubber membrane that seals the door gap uh, helps cut down wind whistles and whatnot lots of room in the back of these seat belts for three under floor storage compartments or under seat uh, storage compartments on both sides has a fold down center armrest with some cup holders uh, comes with a winter front. Uh, it has in-floor storage compartments on both sides. These are actually buckets that you can take out so you can, uh, you know, break a bag of ice and, uh, you know, cool some sodas or whatever. There's one of these on each side. The truck has heated mirrors and they're also the uh, trailer tow mirrors. So they turn up 90 degrees, give you a bit broader rear view when you're towing. Truck has uh, power mirrors and power windows and power locks. Uh, it has a power driver's seat and also has the uh, power lumbar support. Uh, this one has the uh, trailer brake controller built right into it. Uh, it has tilt steering. In the front, this is a uh, split bench seat. Uh, they call this 40 20 40 with two outer seats uh, uh, just independently. Then the, uh, the center will fold down into a armrest console combination. Open it up, it has some storage compartments in there. Here's a look at the instrument cluster. This one has the full uh, driver information center. So on the top row it gives you your compass and also your out, uh, outside air temperature. Uh, next line is your um, radio station. Uh, then fuel economy. Uh, I'll give you your average fuel economy and distance to empty. And then there's a bar graph on the bottom that gives you, uh, gives you uh, real time fuel mileage when you're driving. I'll show you other couple things real quickly here. Uh, vehicle info gives you a readout of your temperatures and pressures. So coolant temperature, oil pressure, uh, trailer brake controller, um, the settings will come out uh, up here, it makes it just a bit easier, more convenient to adjust, particularly when you're driving. And then also has an engine hour meter on here as well. Uh, 
can run it metric or imperial. And then there's lots of setup uh, features in this. Uh, I won't get into that right at the moment, but uh, you can set up all your driver preferences uh, through the app. And that's all adjusted through this uh, touchpad on the left side of the steering wheel. On the right side of the steering wheel, this touchpad is for your uh, cruise control. Uh, it says an AM FM satellite radio. We use Sirius Satellite. You get a one year subscription with the vehicle. Uh, it also has a CD player. It also has an auxiliary jack so you can um, plug in like an iPod or another auxiliary device and, and play it over the radio speakers. Uh, this one is also uh, voice actuated. New Connect phone ready. I just press the phone button. Uh, the other component of that is that uh, it has a phone uh, uh, Bluetooth device um, pairs up with your phone so you can have uh, hands-free uh, cell phone uh, when you're driving. A paired... Available options are yes or no. No. Hits one. That's what I intended to do in the first place, but uh, so you can change your radio station by uh, by uh, just pressing that button and, and calling it out. And uh, so nice, uh, nice with satellite because there's so many uh, so many different stations that if you know your preferences, you can just uh, you know call them out. Uh, and then there's a set of redundant controls on the steering wheel here as well. Um, again, this is your voice recognition for the radio and your phone button. Um, so if you want to make a call, you can just or answer a call, you just press that button and. Uh, and you can take the call. Uh, along here, the um, exhaust retarder brake is actuated off of this button. Uh, and it comes up with an icon on the dash. Very effective exhaust retarder brake for these. Um, it's actually designed by Jacobs. Um, what else? Um, electronic stability control. Uh, that's always engaged, uh, but you can disengage it. And you'd do that if you're going through mud or that's sort of a situation uh, where you need to keep your wheel speed up. Uh, this one also has a 115 volt power outlet on the dash and that's, uh, that's just right there. Pretty handy, especially if your laptop computer or stuff like that. Uh, truck has air conditioning and then on the dial here with the uh, discharge points for your uh, heat and air, uh, when you press that in that turns on your electric mirrors, heated mirrors. Uh, there's a couple of uh, um, 12 volt power outlets here. The one with the key on it is uh, is uh, just hot when the ignition is on and the one on this side with the uh, battery symbol is just hot uh, or is hot all the time I should say. Uh, I need to correct myself I did say earlier that this had a manually shifted transfer case. Uh, this one actually is the electronic transfer case, electronic shifter and it's just uh, controlled off of this dial here. Two wheel drive, four high and four low. Uh, this one has the uh, center, a bit of a center console with the, uh, the shifter in it and uh, some cup holders there and a few different storage compartments. Uh, the SLTs have a dual glove box, upper and lower glove box. So lots of, lots of storage capacity there. Uh, they have an overhead console, uh, control here for the uh, sliding rear window. Uh, it has a power sliding rear window. And also uh, so your overhead lights and stuff are in here. The SLT has the uh, quad headlights um, and also has the uh, the uh, fog lamps as well. Has tow hooks in the front. Uh, has bug deflector. So I'll uh, attach a copy of the build sheet and get this sent off to you. Thank you very much, sir.